We have to balance. All right. Uh, question. Semi circle. <laughs> question for the coach. So Brad, uh, Mark talked pretty glowingly about Keyshawn Silver. What have you seen so far out here on the field with him? Yeah, you know, it's only uh, for those D linemen. It's only the first day in pads, but um, encouraged. You know, by his attitude, obviously, uh, his size, you know, is, is something that's desirable and what we're hunting. He's got uh, length and girth, and uh, he's got a willingness to, to learn and, and put time in and work, and he's got he's just got a really uh, good personality. You guys are going to really love getting to, to know him, and um, so, no, excited to have him part and, and, and watch, ready to watch him compete, you know, and and push for push for some playing time. Do you notice a difference in pads today? Yeah, I mean, you all, you know, you always know a difference. And uh, it was a little bit of ebb and flow throughout practice. I thought today, I thought there were some periods where I thought the defense looked good. I thought some periods we looked sluggish, and the offense looked like they had more energy. And um, I thought we closed uh, solid. Uh, but like in that last period, I thought the offense came out you know, fired up and kind of punched the guys in the nose. And, you know, they had to, they had to sort of dig themselves out, which is good. I, you, you want to see those guys have to go through some adversity, uh, you know, through spring, through individual practices and, and see how they respond and how they rally. Because that's going to happen. You know, there's going to be games that you're ready, you're fired up, you feel good, and then all of a sudden they drive down and they score in the first drive. And then, so how do you respond after that? How's the JQ selling in a cornerback with you all, and what has he kind of shown you so far? Yeah, yeah, I think he's getting out. Yeah, I, I think we're getting around that we're going to ask every transfer that came in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're a whole sort of, they're, they're settling in uh, into our defense, into what we're expecting. They're going to make mistakes, and we understand that. Um, but what I do think we have here is I think we have a strong culture throughout the team and then defensively specifically that we've got enough guys that have been here that, that have brought those guys, those transfers into the fold. They understand what the expectations are. Um, you know, and the expectation is that everything and all playing time is earned. Nothing is given. I mean, you look at every single transfer we've ever brought in here. And they did not start out at the top of the depth chart. They had to earn everything that they they got, um, and that's the way we'll continue to do. Just Getting one of the old heads, uh, like I'll come right back to you. Okay. <laughs> Just in general, what do you like about those corners? And that kind of well, obviously, I think we've we've got some length back, uh, you know, in those corners now. Uh, you know, Drew and Max, you know, may not be as uh, long as, say, J-Rob or, uh, you know, JQ or Jansen. Um, but they've got extreme twitch and really loose hips. So we, we've got a, a variety in there, um, some guys that can play in some different spots and it'll, it'll give us some versatility. Uh, but it's going to just be a really competitive room. You know, I don't think there's uh, anybody right now that's necessarily separated and said this is the – this is the, the clear cut guy or the clear cut two or the clear cut three. Like it's gonna go all the way through spring. And I have a feeling this one's, this battle's gonna go all the way till game one and even throughout the season. And it's nice to have, you know, depth and uh, especially at that position and, and really at any position. Um, but I, I feel good about sort of the long-term uh, outlook there, uh, but it's a long way to go. As a lot of, a lot of part of the last season, uh, Dinkins seemed to be coming on pretty strongly. Uh, what do you see with him so far, and how, how he's going to work out going as the first day? Yeah, I, I, I think this is the kind of the first time for Dink that you know there's kind of a comfort level for him mm -hmm. that okay, I understand what I have to do, and I understand what the technique that Coach Stu is asking of me, and so again, I and you talk about long and athletic, mm -hmm. and you know. I think we have three noses right now, um, you know, with Dink and with Josiah Hayes, who's play plenty of reps, and Keyshawn. Like, like, okay, I feel good about that position. Now, we may not have as many snaps as we've had in the past, but I think as a unit that that position could be a strong point for us. So the versatility, is it going to be some versatility with those guys being able to 
play somewhere else, you know, in, in the in, in the line. In the front, mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I think uh, you know, Dink and uh, and Key have the ability, uh, you know, to slide in certain scenarios, to slide out to maybe play some four eyes. But I think we've got some guys out there that that are good players. So I. I, I like how that room is built right now. I like the energy in that room. Um, and, and I'm gonna lean on those guys. I've already, I went into that room specifically and I said, hey, listen, of any room probably on defense, we probably have more guys with college snaps in the D-line room than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you think about that position and then safety, right? Are the two two positions where we probably have the most. Um, and so, I'm gonna lean on them, and I'm gonna expect of a lot of them. And, and uh, I, I, you know, Coach Stu always demands of those guys, so it don't matter what it who's who's in there. So. Does it allow you to do anything different, or maybe a little extra when you got guys in the traits that Keyshawn and, and Dion have, and you know, lining them up together? Do I do anything different? Is or that what you said? Do they offer you any? Oh, do they offer them? Yeah, well, shoot. Uh, you know? Hopefully, hopefully, you know, hey, everybody offers something, you know, and um, depth and versatility gives you flexibility. And it gives us the ability to try some different things, you know, have some different lineups, um, present some different fronts, um, you know, try to stress an offensive line different ways when you have those guys you know when you can have depth at linebacker outside linebacker um, you can present some different things you can stress offenses and I and I think that's ultimately the goal of how we're trying to manage this roster defensively is get a bunch of long girthy individuals that are as athletic as possible you know obviously in the back end guys that are long and can run um, clog zones play with vision you know, we can jump in and play man when it's needed. Um, but we, we know who we are, and we're not going to um, change from that too much. Like, we are, you know, our core is our core. Now, we're going to have change-ups, and we're going to have those uh, chances to, to throw in mixers. Um, but we know what our identity is. Brad, when JJ decided to come back, what was the message to him in terms of this is what you need to do? Yeah, I mean, the the message to JJ, he knows, and he's the one that brought it to me. His consistency, his consistency of effort, weight, strength, like everything matters, and it doesn't just matter one week or two weeks. It matters. Every day, every practice, every weightlifting session, every time you got a chance to be a leader, every and, and that was everybody always asks, you know, with you know Josh Allen or are those guys, and it's like, hey, listen, for those that weren't around, which were really now on this team, nobody, right? It was the daily focus to be the best and to be great, and I think Jay, it, it's it, that that light bulb has gone off for him and we had a moment at the end of practice he took over and like I went up to him and I said that is what we're talking about you have the ability to just take over a practice a game and that's what guy guys do and we need him to do that and uh, but it, it stems from consistency it can't be I only do it in one game you want 17 sacks in a season like Josh had, then you have to do it every single game. Every single drive they should feel it. And, and he knows that. Brad, obviously Trevin and Dierre played really well last year, but how do you feel about the depth outside of them in the uh, inside linebacker? Yeah, that's something that we've, we've got to build. Like that is that is a, a big question mark, you know, and and listen, you know, they those two played well for us, but they both know that they can play so much better than they played. Um, and again, consistency uh, is important. And so, yeah, that that that's one room that uh, you know we're gonna have to build that depth, uh, and we're gonna have to build consistent. Uh, 
run fits, pass drops, everything. And those, there's so much we put on those guys. And, and obviously we've lost uh, you know, thousands of snaps in, out of that room. Um, but I, I, I like uh, the way they're progressing so far through the first three practices. And we, we're going to need all, all 15 of them. Time for one more. Anybody else? Everybody good? All right.